The fourth quantity we need to gather, quantity D, or value D, is the number of households we will have to visit on average in order to find an eligible child. In some cases, you'll be able to get this figure from the Bureau of Statistics or the Census. They'll be able to tell you something like, on average, every third household will have a child between the ages of 12 and 35 months. If they can't tell you that, then they will probably be able to tell you these three other three quantities, birth rate, infant mortality rate, and the average household size. And there is a formula in Annex B1 that you can use to calculate D from those three inputs. The last factor that we gather is uh, value E the inflation factor for non-response. Of course, survey refusal rates vary from country to country, and even within a country they may vary from region to region. Urban respondents might be more likely to refuse to participate in your survey than rural respondents. There should be survey professionals who have experience in your country who can tell you or suggest what proportion of eligible respondents are likely to either refuse to participate, or not be at home. Of course, the proportion of people who are not at home, this can vary from season to season and from region to region for agricultural reasons and for cultural reasons. When you learn what the, what the likely non-response rate is or what the likely response rate is, uh, you can use table E in Annex B1 to calculate the inflation factor. Here we are showing you Table E from Annex B1. If we had, uh, if the survey colleagues told you that you should expect 15% of the eligible respondents to either refuse or not be at home, well then we would look at the row in Table E for 15% and we would find that the inflation factor, which we'll call quantity E or value E, that's 1.18.